Millions of children across the U.S. are experience, experiencing isolation in hospitals given the current visitation restrictions due to the coronavirus pandemic. But thankfully, UC Davis Children's Hospital is offering them art therapy to help lift their spirits. Art therapist at UC Davis Children's Hospital, Katie Lorraine, joins us live to tell us all about the incredible response they're seeing from both children and healthcare workers. Welcome to the show, Katie. Hi, thank you. So tell me about the use of art therapy um, at the hospital. Is it new and how is it making a difference, especially these past few months amid the chaos in the world right now? Sure. Art therapy has been here for many years, but the way we've delivered art therapy is certainly new now with all the new visitor restrictions and trying to promote social distancing. So now instead of providing art therapy in our playrooms, which are now closed, we are kind of taking it to the unit and putting it on art cards, delivering at bedside, and going virtual. We started um, daily virtual art therapy groups via Zoom, which has been quite an interesting adjustment, but I think um, creating wonderful opportunities for kids to relate to their peers. So when you say art therapy, what exactly does that mean? How does it work? I mean, I'm thinking drawing pictures and you know being creative. Is it something you do one-on-one? -on -one? I know you mentioned virtual groups. How does it all come together? It can be one-on-one. -on -one. It could be in a group context. Art therapy is just using the art process to achieve any goal you would achieve in typical talk therapy. And so you're using drawing, you're using sculpture, you're using um, watercolors, any medium that the patient is comfortable with to create opportunities for expression, to build coping, to promote relaxation, or in a group talk context to provide opportunities for social socialization. Yeah, that's nice. It probably gives them something else to think about and concentrate on. Can you give us a little more insight into how your pediatric patients are being affected because of those COVID-19 guidelines? Mm -hmm. I think our visitor restrictions are probably the biggest impact for our pediatric patients because right now we're only allowing one adult at bedside. So siblings aren't able to visit friends, other family members. So, so much of their um, support system is now via FaceTime or through their parent or through their you know staff support of child life specialists, art therapists and nursing. Um, so I think the isolation has definitely increased. They're not coming out of their rooms as much. Um, the playroom's closed. So um, we're always trying to provide ways to structure their day, whether it's um, you know passing out art and games every day at the same time, providing groups, providing individual therapy at bedside um, to help them have an outlet to express all the changes that they're kind of interacting with now. Yeah, I'm sure it is so important. The other thing I've been hearing a lot about lately are mixed tiles, and I see that UC Davis has incorporated their use at the hospital. Yes, mixed tiles are fantastic. They're um, a photo app, it's super easy to use. You upload your um, photos from your phone or your iPad, and they send you these beautiful eight by eight prints that can be mounted and remounted on various surfaces. So. Um, because kids are missing their family and their friends, we really encourage them to take their favorite photos, to print them up, to display them around their room, to make it feel more homey and inviting, and also remind them of this larger support system that exists outside of the hospital. Yeah, I'm sure those decorations and those happy faces surrounding them will definitely work and make them feel more at home. Do you guys work with any outside organizations also to help pediatric patients? So we, other than mixed tiles, we have so many great nonprofits that help us. Uh, Deck My Room is a wonderful one. Um, we give them referrals for patients that are here for prolonged stays and they um, kind of go shopping on Amazon and completely decorate their room to their preferences. So, um, you know, Door of the Explorer comforters or really cute sparkly lights or diffuser, something to make them feel more at home and then they can take them back to their home when they discharge which is really wonderful. And then we have um, Bay Kids Studios, which is a nonprofit that makes movies with kids in the hospital. So we've even done that via FaceTime where we've recorded them, send the footage to our um, producers out there and they've made documentary films um, with our patients during this um, pandemic. Wow, I mean, I definitely um, hear and see some of the creativity going on 
How has the medical staff and the frontline workers there at the hospital, how have they responded to this art therapy? I think that um, it's a great sense of consistency for them. They know that, you know, with all this change that we're still providing the same services we did before, just in a different way. And it takes some of the load off of our frontline nurse or nurses who are, you know, so um, concentrated in providing their medical care. We're able to support them by supporting the patients and their families with the emotional care. So we really work in conjunction and um, us as a department are also working on providing self-care opportunities for our frontline employees so that they can take care of themselves um, and come back to work every day. That's great. And do you suggest that people do this at home? Uh, maybe they're feeling isolated or, you know, alone because of social distancing. Can we do this art therapy at home too? Absolutely. Um, any way you can structure your day at home, whether it's, you know, drawing in a journal every morning or taking a walk and taking a picture of something that interests you, I think is a way to provide that sense of normalcy, which is what a lot of people are, are lacking right now. Um, and we have recorded some wonderful art therapy interventions on our Facebook Live that anyone can watch. And you could do these activities with materials you find at home, just paper and pencil. So you really don't have to, you know, have extravagant art materials to find the therapeutic benefit of art. Very good. <laughs> Katie Lorraine with UC Davis Children's Hospital. Appreciate the insight. Of course. Thanks for having me. This interview involves commercial content. The products and services featured appear as paid advertising.